on guys welcome back hope you guys are having a great day as always we're back up at the mountain we're at mount hood oregon yeah. at meadows we're not skiing today though we got something a little different because i think what i got on my feet right now are going to be so close to what we do on inline skates that uh this might be the new thing to come up here and do i'm uh rocking what's known as ski boards really excited i've never been on some short skis in my life and uh, I just feel like they're gonna be so playful, so much fun. Hopefully they're gonna feel just like inline skating on the mountain. Before we go, we got a special guest here. Cam Good Times is with me. He's actually supplying all these uh, ski boards for us to try out. So we got a whole crew with us today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's roll. I don't yeah. have any tails. Yeah. <laughs> no tails.
Whew, what a day, that was so much fun. I can't believe how much fun I had on just something so similar to skis, but so different. So what do I think about these ski boards? Um, and am I gonna be ski boarding in the future? Two things I wanna talk about here. I got ski boards in reference to if you're an inline skater and have never skied. And then also if you're a skier, uh, should you try ski boards? Um, first one talking to all my inline skaters out there because this is inline skating channel first and foremost. I say hands down, it is so close to being on inline skates, it's scary. We actually had a guy that's never skied before today get on ski boards and he his first run was a blue. He was cruising down just like he was just cruising down a hill on his wizard frames or something. Like it was pretty impressive. If you're an inline skater or a person that has never skied before but wants to get into skiing, I think ski boards are a great way to get into skiing the sport period. I mean, they're one, they're cheaper. Two, uh, they're so much easier to like just move around in. Um, the control, uh, it, it just feels like in like you have some, <clears throat> like you have some inline skates on. It really feels like you got nothing on your feet. Uh, it's great. Now going into the skier coming onto ski boards. I had a lot of fun. My only complaints with ski boards being first and foremost a skier, obviously. Uh, will I do it again? Yes. Will I have my own pair? Probably. Just because it gives me something different and fun to kind of throw in the mix when I'm up here just to, just to mess around on, you know? And they're just so close feeling to inline skating that like I get to be able to play like I'm on inline skates, but on a ski. So that's just really cool to me. So if you're an inline skater and skier, I mean, I think it's no brainer. If you're a skier, total just just a skier, don't inline skate, and are thinking, man, this looks kind of fun. They are total fun. Once you get on them, you there's like I said before, there's no weight to them. Like the swing weight is nothing. You can move them around super easy. You can, I mean, the maneuverability is 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 crazy. Like when you're going about like just getting started to pumping through like uh, moguls or something like that, that's about the speed the max speed that these are really good for, like being really maneuverable. Oh, and like through trees and stuff, super maneuverable. Once you start getting on groomers and just start ripping down the mountain on them, totally can hold edges and, and rip down the mountain. I was finding some a little bit of struggle there because I could actually <clears throat> um, carve easier and harder on my uh, skis, mainly because there's a longer platform and there's more platform to have a full camber on your foot, to have more camber to like flex down and make that turn happen. Uh, on these, they're so short and the camber's so short and stiff that it, it just really feels like it's fighting you to get into those nice deep carving turns just when you're on edge, edge to edge on groomers where you're just ripping down the mountain. You know, doing stuff like that, I would be on the ski all day long. Uh, but if you're just going in the park or like just messing around off the side bumps and going through trees and that kind of stuff, I mean, these are just a lot of fun. It's nicknamed the party ski for a reason. And that's what it felt like. It just felt like a party on skis all day. It's just something different, something similar, but different enough that's just, just lets you have fun again. You know, like it's just a new feeling. The only other thing with jumps compared to skis, I, I use my tails a lot to for pop when I go off of jumps. <clears throat> and then also when I land, like I need that fore aft just if I'm a little back seat to kind of come back. You have to be so on top of your skis when you're on these ski blades or ski boards. Uh, like literally almost like you're skating like and it's actually much harder to do because you're going down a hill skating you're on flat stuff so it's easier to go up and down again because you're in this flat surface you're constantly going downhill so when you do a jump and send you this way you got to overcorrect so much to get back to that flat kind of zone to land so if you land back or forward at all, I mean, these things are gonna pop off your feet. I, I, I walked out of these things like four or five times today. Uh, that being said, you know, in the future, it might be worthwhile to just get some non-release bindings on these if I'm doing jumps and stuff. The best part about these is, I think they can really help your technique and your body placement. Because when you're on skis, you can get really lazy and lean back, lean forward and, and use that lever of your ski to get back in place right over your boots on these 
you can't. You have to be right on top of those boots. Like there's there's not much wiggle room uh, for your body position. And I think that's a really good thing for skiers. I think, you know, getting used to like having to be on a little tiny little platform is when I get my skis back on, it's gonna feel like I'm in like a Cadillac and like <laughs> I can roll over anything and, and lean any which way. But, but having that like just better body position just ingrained in my head, uh, I think is a great learning tool to take from ski boards into skiing. I think that's gonna do it for today, guys. I think that's all I have to say about ski boarding. Uh, if, you're, if you're an inline skater or a skier or neither of them <laughs> and just think this looks like a lot of fun, I highly encourage you guys to get up here and try ski boarding. Uh, it's just so much more approachable than jumping on some skis, uh, especially if you're an inline skater. It's just, it's a blast. I also just want to say a huge thank you to Summit uh, Ski Boards for providing these ski boards today for us to, to ski on and try them out. Um, that's just, just, it was just a blast. Um, thank you, Cam, for, uh, for sending out the hookup to, that you got some ski boards that you want me to come try with you. Really huge, huge, huge thank you to you. Uh, and yeah, guys, if you guys haven't checked out Cam Good Times, uh, this is Cam's channel. Go check it out. Link will be in the description below. Uh, great big wheel uh, inline skate channel. Go check him out. Anyway, hopefully that came through on this video. If it did, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell to so miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling or skiing.